My name is Shelby Shelley, and I am hanging out here with the stars and the director of the new film, Bodied, if you can't tell. Bodied. We're all here talking about Bodied. This is, you guys, I love this movie. For, why don't we go and introduce ourselves? Sure. I'm Jackie Long, and I play the role of Ben Grimm. Yes. Uh, I play, uh, I'm Kayla Morgan, I play Adam. And then Joseph. I'm Joseph Kahn, and I play director. Not very well. Not very well. <laughs> you do a great job. What are you talking about? We'll talk about that in a second. But first, I mean, it's it's a battle rap movie, or rap battle movie, I should say. And uh, I think a lot of people might sort of reference 8 Mile, another movie that was just like that. But this is so different. It's so different. And so do you guys want to talk? Who wants us to talk about what it's about? And sort of. Do you want to go for it? Hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, um, the big difference between this and 8 Mile is that we're a comedy. Yeah. 8 Mile is not a funny movie. Yeah. 8 Mile is very serious. We are a satire. Yeah. And we're here to, uh, in 8 Mile, he's roasting uh, his opponents. I, in this, we're roasting everyone, yeah. including the audience. It is. And that's the thing is I feel like, too, this ver it's like an update. Like, it's so relevant. And there's so many topics that you guys cover that are really prevalent today. And you guys are the... Battle, you battle each other, you battle together, you do all the battling, which I just found amazing. You guys were so good. So tell me about sort of the experience of doing this movie, and had you ever done anything? Like, how are you so good at it? <laughs> Man, first of all, the script was amazing. Yeah. You know, that was the first thing done right, you know. And then, second thing that was done right, Joseph Kahn's amazing casting. You know, the cast that he casted was just remarkable. Just having this dude playing Adam was I don't think nobody else could have played this role but him and just the the way it was written and taking on the chances that that you knew that you can probably get in trouble for or saying all these things but this type of movie that you want to have where you get to say all these disrespectful and and, and things that you don't see movies that's so disrespectful like this and this is the type of movie that you want to see but we're saying things disrespectful in a funny way you know it's like he said it's a comedy movie you know what i'm saying and doing battle rap is basically like shakespeare you know so it, it, if you didn't take this movie i feel sorry for you because <laughs> this this is going to be a stepping stone for our career I, I think because this movie is a big controversy and at the end of the day if you're going to see this movie you have to watch it in the big screen yeah. if you're not watching in the big screen you're not going to get the message you're not going to feel it and when you uh, in, in in this movie, the audience like like we were saying is part of the movie. You're gonna feel like you're at the rap battles with us. So you have to watch it on the big screen, and you gotta go see it November second. Yeah. And what was it like? I mean, I assume you had to memorize it, right? You had to memorize the lines, and do, mm -hmm. so what was that? I mean, was that easy to do? Well, I I'm I'm probably the nerdiest guy you'll ever meet. <laughs> so I, I, when I first started this project, I was the worst rapper in the world. Like there was literally no one else on the planet. If you think you're a bad rapper, no, I was worse. I can promise I you. Probably worse, but anyway, yeah, go ahead. I, I was terrible. Um, and, but I really wanted to do this project. I really wanted to be a part of it. And luckily we were able to be trained by the greatest battle rappers of all time. And, uh, and we also got to work with them on set as well. It was almost like we were playing professional basketball players with LeBron James being another cast member in the movie. Yeah. So you're working with the best, and they elevated our performance and, and worked with us for two months leading up to the start of this movie on how to rap, and we worked almost every single day. Was it, was it hard to memorize? You can hold it if you want. <laughs> I'll, I'll ask you the Yeah, questions. sure. Was it hard to memorize everything that you had to say? What was that process, and how'd you do it? The, the script was the smartest script I've ever I've ever read, and when when you have good material, it's really easy to memorize because it's almost like you can uh, someone's typing the way your brain thinks, and that's what this movie was. So it was a lot of dialogue. Sometimes we had scenes that were nine, ten pages long, and some of it was just pure monologue. It was almost like doing Shakespeare. However, it was so well written that you wanted to dive into the material, and it was it didn't never felt like um, work memorizing. It felt fun. Yeah, and you know. No, I was gonna say with 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 um, what was the question again? Cause I, f which, what I was saying is 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 just like any job, like this job, you would say, it can be hard some days, but at the end of the day, is it's not really work for you, and as an actor, you want to have a movie where you have a lot of dialogue. An actor dream is to have lots of dialogue. You don't want to have a two-second scene and you're out of the scene like, oh, that was good, but we had so many big scenes. It was like, yeah, this is a lot of work, but this is what I live to die for, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm not going to let this get away from me. It's like this is what I want, you know, so 
it wasn't hard at all. It's like you 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 do what you love and it's easy. You know, they always say the work that you love is always the easiest work or it don't seem like work. And this wasn't it was work, but it wasn't work yeah. because this is what I was waiting for. Yeah. You, you know. Didn't have to work a day in your life. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I love to do. I love to entertain. Yeah. You know. And so there were many moments where I cringed, but I also laughed during the movie. So did you guys have moments? I mean, you were, guy, you were saying it. Did you have moments where you're like, this is going to be tough to say, or I don't know? Because those are the scenes that make the movie, are these battle scenes, for sure. Well, you go at it. You want to yeah. go ask the first? Well, there was a lot of moments that yeah. uh, when, when, I, when I was reading the script, I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's, that's quite a thing to say. However, I will say this. Um, I knew that the themes of this movie were so important. Mm -hmm. uh, themes like uh, w what is appropriate to say in this climate, and when in terms of uh, when is it appropriate to say things in terms of what context, cultural appropriation, um, freedom of speech versus where is the limit. Those were themes that I really wanted to discuss. So for me, we every time there was a line that felt very uncomfortable, um, it always felt worth it because I felt like there was a greater purpose. You guys did a really good job, and you know, like you talked about with the themes. There was a line that I think it was your dad. He said in the movie. It's 2018, there is no privacy anymore. There's nothing. Right. And that, for me, that kind of struck me because you suddenly, you know, there's, I won't go into the whole film, but you go out to your school and your classmate and you think you did this video and it's private and everyone knows about it. So what did you guys kind of take away from doing it? It speaks a lot of truth on 2018 yeah. and what we have right now. We're, we live in a world where nothing is private. Um, we see people almost every day getting fired from their job or uh, being disowned because they they say something, and a lot of time for good reason. But I think that's a really interesting uh, theme to discuss in a movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, did you, Jackie? I, I like he said. I, I don't think nothing's private this day. <coughs> today It's like right away you you see killings now, like live killings on social media. You can't hide nothing or keep a secret, and it's so crazy. You know this this movie is not hiding shit at all. <laughs> so if you want to really get let like if you I always tell people when you if you mad at somebody you don't know how to say it to them just go tell them to see body <laughs> and you, yeah. we'll get the message across to them yeah. you know so that's what I think. <laughs> And everyone is censoring themselves these days. Yeah. So in terms of social media or even just in life and conversations with friends, everyone censors themselves to some degree. And in battle rap, there's no censorship. They put it all on the line, and they just say what, what they want to say. Um, and in that context, they're allowed to do that. And that's what we, we play with, which is why it's really a really cool vehicle to explore some of these themes in. And if you know what I mean, in a battle rap, there's no holes bar. you got to go in. If you're going to be a battle rapper in life, don't do it if you're afraid to disrespect or get disrespected. You have to be able to do both or take both. You got you to gotta be able to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And something, you know, I failed to mention earlier is I know Eminem's a producer on this, mm -hmm. too. And so how did he get involved with the whole thing? Or just just a kind. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, Eminem, we're, uh, we've been working together for quite a long time. Yeah. And um, I sent him the script. He looked at it. Uh, thought it was fascinating. We shot the movie. We sent him a rough cut. He loved it. He absolutely loved it. He had a lot of notes, a uh, lot of ideas, came in, helped with the soundtrack and with the promotion. Uh, he's been a great producer, great creative partner, and um, you'll feel his stamp all over this movie. If there's, if there's, like, there's not a Hollywood producer that could have produced Bodied. Yeah. There's only one dude, and that is Eminem. And you're, you're right, you can tell, kind of just in little ways. And um, speaking of another rapper, I saw you posted on Instagram, Snoop Dogg also loved this film, right? Yeah, I, huge shout out to Snoop Dogg for yeah. supporting this movie, it means a lot. <laughs> uh, well, you know Snoop Dogg, he's a buddy of yours. That's like, a, uh, like literally like a father, you know, a little low-key friend, father. I've been knowing Snoop for years, and any time, if I'm doing anything, he always i don't care how high he is he's <laughs> always gonna support you know and i always support snoop so at the end of the day shout out to snoop dog for posting our um body trailer we really appreciate that and uh, you know i just hope the whole world the battle world i mean the rap world do, does the same and go support this movie yeah for sure and also i have to wish you a happy belated birthday jackie <laughs> what did you do honestly i worked <laughs> i was <laughs> i was in houston yeah. And they, they I, I seen my movie, yeah. and I did interviews, and they, and they, they came down and sang happy birthday to me, yeah. and that's what I did for my birthday, and went back home, went to sleep. <laughs> I, that's not so bad, right? That's not, yeah. You know, I, my, my birthday gift honestly is body in this tour. This I couldn't ask for anything better in life right now. All the all gifts and stuff that means something, but doing something that you really love and getting to e explore the world and promote a, a movie that's I couldn't really ask for nothing better in life right now yeah. this is the greatest gift and thank you Joseph Kahn
So if you want to support Jackie Long on his birthday, <laughs> give him the altered birthday present, go see Body on November 2nd. Well, how about this? November 2nd's my birthday. Get the so on your birthday, yeah. your gift for me, that, yes. you better go take whoever you going to the movies with to go see Body. I saw it, so maybe I'll see it again, or I will just, I promise you, I'm going to promote the heck out of this thing. You better. I am. You better. It's so good. It's so good. You guys are so good in it. Oh, so thank, thank you so much. So good. Anything else you want to add, say? Uh, we November 2nd, the movie will be in theaters, selected theaters, and, and um, November 28th, it'll be on YouTube Premium. And other than that, don't bootleg this shit because I'll beat your ass. <laughs> and you better not find a way to do nothing to talk bad about this movie because the movie is already doing enough for you to come watch and enjoy. Basically, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the whitest white girl, and I loved it. I loved it, loved it. So, yeah, just like you said, <laughs> how can I relate to it? You will love it. It's so good. Thanks, you guys. So good to meet you. Thank you. Thank you.